wanted to give you guys a little uh, update on uh, the uh, I've chipped two big piles now since I switched over to the uh, button heads and they don't seem to be affecting it at all it doesn't seem to be a problem there but I did notice today uh, well actually I noticed the last time I was if something wasn't right and then today I fire uh, we had a windstorm Sunday morning uh, limbs everywhere again you know as you can see from the trees behind me um, and my last last living western western hemlock uh, split in half and so it's pieces now but that's beside the point uh, didn't fire it up it just didn't seem right I was thinking maybe the governor wasn't kicking in but the governor was and so I thought well okay uh, look at the belts you know they say to check the belts and I do but this is what I found when I took off the cover this is the way I found it the belts were hanging in there the idler pulley was way out of place it was you know up against the uh, I haven't looked to see I think it was probably rubbing uh, grooves in the uh, housing from the belt but then the nut the nut fell out on the ground and it's not even a, a nylock nut it's just a, a standard nut you know it's like what the hell are they thinking about so let me go ahead and put this I got a new nylock nut to put on uh, the thing was full of dust. I don't know if my belts have been ruined. They don't seem to be uh, in too bad a shape. So we'll see what goes here. We'll come back in a second. Well, I got it back together and I got the tension I want. That may be a little tight for this one, but it's about, this one's a little ruined, should we say. I have to get some new belts. But I replaced that with a nylock flange bolt what it should have been in the first place you know, there's no no rhyme or reason for what they put in there other than saving a penny saving a penny well I guess you sell some belts that way so I wanted Later. to check the the manual to see what they have and they show two nuts you know a tightener and then a jam nut mine did not have that mine had a shoulder nut to fit on the end of the spring and then you look up here into the 6a it says quarter 20 hex and they're not they're six millimeter so that's wrong from the get-go too so this is the uh, the nut that came off that I found in the bottom of the belt cover just a basic little say red nut which in that bouncing condition and condition inside there uh, uh, would not work at all that's why it came off it's all gone this thing when it's running right you got tight belts for the lack of a 63 cent bolt nut to fit on the end of the tension screw it's a beast. It just sucked this stuff and you can see my cart's full already. So I got one more pile to do and then I'll uh, call this a day. But uh, yeah, the other concern I have is, uh, let me go over here. I don't know if you can see it in there or not, but there's a little bit of weepage around that seal on the output shaft. So that's something I'm gonna have to keep an eye on, which is gruntling since it only has about eight hours on it. Well, I wanted to show some more stuff on the, the belt mechanism here. I saw something, I'd, another thing I didn't like. Just wanted to check after I uh, chipped that big pile the, the, at what I was showing you in the last thing here. I wanted to look to see how this thing was going. And I'm finding that, let me uh, stop and set up on, on the mechanism itself. I can see why that little nut came off because this thing, just look at that thing flop around as the belt, you know, as it hits a, uh, uh, a load, it's, it's going to stretch. And that, that thing's just flopping around there. And the other thing I did, the way they have the arm set up there, there's two nylon. It sits on a, sh on a uh, shaft. There's no bushing that it rides on. But it's got two nylon washers, one on either side, and then it's got a steel washer. But for some reason, they've got the... Um, um, 
nylock nut here, but there's also a, uh, a lock washer behind it. I, I'm, I'm guessing they're thinking that they're using that to, to press it in so it doesn't wobble around. But I think uh, I'm going to uh, take this nut off when I go to the hardware store tomorrow and uh, take off that lock washer, get another, uh, this looks like a 10 millimeter, just a 10 millimeter straight nut, tighten it on, and then tighten this nylock nut down on top of it and then cinch them together because there's just too much too much give in this thing. I mean, it really, it says 3 8 uh, This one here, this this back belt's got to be replaced. It's uh, Neither one of them looks really, even this outside one here's got a funny recurve in it. Look how the other one runs inside. And it's not, they're not equally sharing the, the load like they should be like they were when they were new so yeah this needs new belts because of that stupid nut falling off and I can see why when it, it's bouncing around like that so. and I'm changing oil too and what a fun job that is I was just checking the uh, parts list on this thing and it does not show that uh, lock washer there that split lock washer I don't know if that's something that they haven't updated for their catalog, uh, but to, to apply a little bit of side pressure, uh, I don't know. But I still don't like that rattling bolt. I can see why that came loose. So later, I did one thing. I uh, I got tired of this thing coming off, so I had some contact cement. So I contact cleaned it all off with some alcohol, and. Um, clean the back of the rubber, put on a good layer of uh, contact cement and let that dry and then pushed it on so now I don't have to worry about this thing coming off. It needs to clamp that down maybe but this thing, that little, they got the engine setting right down this plate and there's a little boss under here so you can't, on this side you can put a piece of plastic in underneath to kind of keep the oil from going back in but on this side you can't. So I found that uh, just tip the tongue up uh, and put a, a block under it until it's you know the oil thing is pouring out this way uh, and then the same to fill it back up again I got this bungee cord holding my, my uh, funnel in place so I can get it in and drain in without it draining back on me so later